Eleanor Collins. The oldest of the recipients on the eve of her 95th birthday, Eleanor Collins receives an honour given to fewer than 7,000 Canadians, named a member of the Order of Canada. Eleanor Collins is a supremely talented vocalist who changed the face of race relations in mid-20th century Vancouver. Love me or leave me, but let me be lonely. Many decades have passed, but Collins was once a Canadian star, known as Vancouver's First Lady of Jazz. But it isn't just her talent that makes her such an extraordinary woman. In 1954, she performed in a CBC musical called Bambula. Hard to imagine today, but it was the first to have a mixed race cast. The next year, she was given and starred in her own nationally broadcast show, the first black artist in North America to do so. To see a woman of color on that often, of this brand new medium TV, they got used to it. But TV wasn't the only place she found herself breaking down barriers. When she and her husband first moved to Burnaby in 1948, a petition was started to keep the black family out. But she volunteered at the elementary school and taught music to the Girl Guides and won the community over. I'm a great believer that wherever you are, whatever corner you are, you can be doing everyone some good. Everyone. Collins, who does not seem to age, still sings publicly at 95. Mrs. Collins. A Canadian born on November 21st, 1919, Eleanor Collins has seen much change in the world and its attitudes, and as the Governor-General pinned the order on her lapel, the applause went on for a very long time. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Vancouver.